Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. With the exception of the Queen of Cups, along with the Eight of Swords, you have all major arcana cards. What is going on here? I feel like there's, um, I feel like there's a lot that is happening with you, with your energy, and there's a lot that's happening in your life. And I feel, or there's a lot that is going to be taking place over the next few days, weeks, or even several months. It's interesting that the Eight of Swords, uh, in this case, then is the um, is the energy that crowns the reading, and the Eight of Swords is this mental prison uh, one puts themselves in, right? Um, because the cards are indicating that you are either on the edge um, of new cycles or new chapters or beginnings, or that there may be things uh, closing for you, um, chapters that are closing up for you. There may be um, ideas that you are sitting on that I feel like can be very successful and very uh, abundant and fruitful in nature and in the future. Um, there's, I feel like there's a lot going on with you. There's a lot of significant shifts taking place, uh, shifts in energies. There's changes that are occurring. There's also fate and destiny at hand here. So... Um, just circling back to the Eight of Swords, I feel like it's important for you to not be afraid, right? To not be afraid of all the changes that are sweeping in um, and to really try and push yourself, step outside of this comfort zone. Remember that when it's time for you to move on from someone or something, um, the universe will make your situation or your circumstances so uncomfortable that you'll have no other choice but to get up and move or just, you know, to leave this very thing behind. Some of you could be experiencing that. Um, and the Eight of Swords is telling you, you know, listen to your intuition. Even if you feel like you're lost for direction or if you feel like you don't know what to do next or um, where to go, you know, what steps to take your intuition is a very powerful thing uh, listen to that intuition i say that because if you look at the eight of swords imagery the water that pulls around uh, her feet here is symbolic of the intuition right now even though she cannot see and it, it appears as though you know she's not able to move if only she really tapped into her intuition i feel like she'd be able to intuitively you know feel her way out of this prison of sorts so if you feel stuck or if you feel like you know if you feel a certain energy or a certain vibe around someone or around a specific situation listen to that energy doesn't lie and more specifically your intuition is guiding you um, but all in all, I do think it's this energy of you not being afraid, you know, step to step outside of your comfort zone because that's where all the growth is, that's where all the excitement is, and that's where all the changes, are, right? And that's what you need to. That's what you need to experience to get to where it is that you're going. I feel like with the Empress energy, I really do feel like some of you are destined to. I think like you're destined to become the CEO of your life. Um, some of you, I feel like, have a business, you're quite business-minded, so you have quite, um, you have a strong business acumen. Um, so some of you, I feel like, have this 
desire to maybe build your own business or maybe one day to build an empire, you know, um, however that looks to you. So the empire, I feel like, is encouraging for you to stay focused, uh, stay in it, um, and stay strong. And don't get distracted by little distractions around you. Also, because he's seated just above the hanged man, it's an interesting uh, combination here. Sometimes it it can be very beneficial to see things from a different standpoint, to see things from a different angle, to listen to others' opinions or perspectives. I'm not saying that, you know, allow others' opinions to sway you and this idea that you're sitting on or this, um, this business idea that you have or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but it may be, um, you know, sometimes, especially with the emperor of the emperor's energy, he can be a little bit rigid. So it may be a good idea to, like the hangman who hangs himself in this artful way, in order just to see things differently, to see things from a uh, perspective, from a different perspective, from a different angle. Because I honestly do think that some of you are sitting on some sort of an idea, whether it's an idea for <clears throat> a project or a business or... Um, I don't know if you want to start like your YouTube channel or something like that. And I think it's going to be quite successful for you. I really do. But there's something about your ID that maybe if you can tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit different from, I don't know, different from your competition or just to make, just to put a different spin on it. Or maybe you have to see things like your ID is great, but maybe you have to maybe you're too focused on why it wouldn't work out and instead you need to focus on what on all the ways that it could work out so taking a different perspective or looking at things from a different angle could really assist you with whatever it is that you're sitting on or that you're trying to build this empire uh, from i also feel like there's this light bulb moment that you're going to be experiencing whether it's in relation to this idea or whether it's um something to do with your personal achievements or something to do with you know your life and the direction that it's taking but it feels like there's this aha moment this light bulb moment where suddenly it just clicks and suddenly everything just seems to make sense whereas before it was very confusing very disorientating very discombobulating so all of a sudden everything just it's you know it just clicks it just makes sense you i think it's steve jobs has said that you know you can never connect the dots looking forward you can only ever connect them looking back so while you were in it whatever this was uh, it was very confusing but now that you're experiencing and have experienced it I think it kind of makes sense why you had to go through what you had to go through or why you had to experience that certain situation um, so yeah there's this light bulb moment or this light bulb moment for a great idea that you will um, suddenly get or this light bulb moment as to maybe it's um, a light bulb moment that's going to shine a light on your current relationship and you know why you're with this person or why you no longer should be with this person so th that's very interesting because all of a sudden it just clicks and if you take action you know based on this uh, light bulb moment uh, or this idea I do think that this if you take action, this is going to be very fruitful, very faith, faithful, very abundant, very successful. I do think this is in your destiny, and I think to ignore it would be to ignore what is destined for you. Uh, speaking of destiny, there is this Wheel of Fortune, which is, of course, the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny. I do think that you're experiencing some very fated situations, circumstances, encounters. Um, you potentially might be connecting with someone who is very much a part of your destiny, or you might potentially be embracing, you know, uh, the, the person that you're destined to become. I also feel like there's this massive fortune and massive good luck, this really good energy that is surrounding you right now. You know, they, um, it's kind of like, you know how they say everything, um, he's got the Midas touch, everything he touches turns to gold. Well, you've got that kind of energy around you where everything you do touch turns to gold. So definitely try to lean into this energy a little bit more because I feel like it's going to bring about a lot of fortune. It's going to bring about a lot of good experiences I also feel like there's some sort of situation that I see or some sort of meeting it feels like you're going to be meeting or connecting with someone um, it could be romantically it could be professionally 
but this feels distant this feels encountered just the way that you meet might be under some very like peculiar circumstances or some very unlikely circumstances I feel like with the strength card, I honestly feel like what's what's it's telling you here in this uh, in the context of this reading is to stay away from distractions, especially if you are someone who's you know focused on building the life that you want or building this empire or this business or this idea that you want um, or even you know starting out whatever it is that you want to do. I think it's important to really cut down on distractions and just really tame those distractions. So stay focused. Um, stay in it and also don't be way uh, don't wave up because of what people say yeah it's important to hear people out as we spoke about earlier but that doesn't mean that their opinion is remember it's, it's not factual it's not facts right their opinion is just that their opinion so if it doesn't sit well with you if it doesn't resonate why take it on board right um, so yeah don't waver by people's opinions or what by people have to say or um after all they're just expressing themselves i do think this yeah hangman energy is this light bulb moment that you're going to be experiencing it's suddenly seeing something almost as if for the first time it's getting this really good idea or it's you know finally finding a way to move forward with this really good idea that you had um, it could also be like i think when it comes to relationships or friendships i also feel like it's this energy where you you suddenly realize that you know why it is that you're friends with a certain person or why you're in this relationship or this you know you suddenly realize how this relationship that you're in is not is not healthy or it's something that you outgrew or it just doesn't make sense anymore it just you guys aren't compatible or it doesn't fit and then you suddenly realize that you deserve better or you want different so it's this sudden realization, it's this epiphany, this light bulb moment that I do think is going to move you in the right direction. And I do think it's going to bring about some um, massive changes in your life. I feel like this is the very, especially if you go ahead and action this, go through with this, I think it's what's going to open up new doors for you, doors to a new chapter, a new cycle. Um, there is something here that is going to reach something that you do or something that you're working on or perhaps it's this business idea that you want to start i think it's going to reach like a worldly or a global uh, status um, you may be putting it on a global platform it makes sense if it's like a youtube channel if you're working um, if you're thinking about doing something online because you know you have that wide reach of audience right all over the world you can just connect with them um quite literally instantly uh, so yeah, something that you're putting out into the world, um, if you're starting a channel or uh, something online, I do think it's going to be successful and I think it's going to take off. It could also be like a video, your video is going viral or you're becoming like, uh, you could become, I don't know, internet famous. Um, but it could also be like something that you, like something that you're doing, something that you're pursuing is going to achieve worldly status. So maybe putting out putting out a book, getting a book published, uh, you know, stepping into, there's also this idea of you stepping out into the spotlight, right? So the spotlight is on you. So I don't know if this is you entering the film and entertainment business, becoming an actor, actress, um, becoming, yeah, someone famous, but it just feels like, yeah, it just feels like a, the spotlight is on you. And I also feel like, I don't know if this means something to the person that I'm connecting to but I think the time to act is now it's like now is your time I don't know why now and why not before why not any sooner but there's just something about now and let's not question it like there's just something about now that says you have to act now now's the time to act now's the time to take action especially towards your goals and towards your dreams and it is interesting how you have the queen of cups here in the bottom um, and once again, I feel like she really echoes on this, the importance of intuition uh, and our subconscious, right? I feel like there are some ideas that have been with you. Um, and when I say ideas, I mean, maybe the idea to begin new again or the idea to travel, maybe, because there is worldly travel as well with the world card, right? 
um, or the idea to start a new life or just to, to start something new I think it's been deeply ingrained in your subconscious but I think only recently have you awakened to the fact that you need to take action and I don't know if it's because maybe um, some of you have been doing and practicing a lot of meditating and that has helped awaken your subconscious mind but there's definitely like ideas that have been sitting with you or there's definitely some some things that you've been wanting to do for a while now but you've been putting it off and I do think just going back to the eight of swords I do think it's important for you to take that step you know take that first step even if you don't know where it is that you may be going or even if you don't have it all mapped out and just to trust your intuition along the way because your intuition is a very powerful thing and I think the Queen of Cups here is definitely highlighting and trying to communicate to you the importance of your subconscious mind and the importance of your imagination. They will create the life that you desire, the, the life that you deserve. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.